And you're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Courtney Robinson in for Carolina. With this heat, a lot of us are keeping that AC going. You kind of have to, but it's also costing us. It is expensive. This evening, we learned there are 19 states that have laws restricting companies from disconnecting someone's air conditioning in the summer. But as you can see right here, Florida is not one of them. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo is finding out the need for utility help in Tampa Bay is really great right now. And thankfully, there's help out there, too. We have seen an increase of need for utility assistance. Metropolitan Ministries has a utility program helping people pay their electric bills. Currently, we are receiving over 350 requests. That's three times what they're normally used to assisting with in Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties. This is as high as we've ever seen it. And some are sitting on a wait list. Now they're having to decide, am I going to pay for food or, or am I going to pay to, to keep the electric on? Florida doesn't have any laws that prevent a power company from disconnecting someone's electricity in the hot summer heat. But some companies have made their own rules. Duke Energy and Florida Power and Light both have vowed to keep electricity on even if your bill is unpaid at a certain heat index. For Duke Energy, it's 105 and for FPL, it's 95. Tico passes disconnections when the temperature is expected to exceed 93 degrees. That provides a little bit of a buffer, but it's kind of scary when we think about how hot it's getting in Florida and how hot it's going to continue to get. As a law professor at Stetson University, Jacqueline Lopez says when it comes to disconnect laws, new measures are being discussed. I do know that there's federal legislation that's being proposed. She tells me there are federal programs like the Low Income Energy Assistance Program, plus another one that helps elderly. There are things that we can be doing in the meantime, even at the local level. Nonprofits like Metropolitan Ministries are doing their part, but they are limited. The more donations that we get in from the community, the more people we can assist. For 10 Tampa Bay, I'm Shannon Klo. Duke Energy did tell us today if you're struggling to pay your bill, don't wait until you're disconnected to call. They say call beforehand and they can see what resources are available to help you pay your bill.